It's the, it's basically the good old boy system. This is the eyeball test. And you look at all the folks on those commit on the playoff committee, man, you got some old school thinkers on there. And there's nothing wrong with that, but they're all old school thinkers. So if you're the SEC, you know, you, you got to really think about it. You're going to run into a situation where, yes, uh, you have a three loss team. And they're, the team's three losses have been close into three damn good teams, but they're not getting in over an 11-1 ACC team because that's just not what the committee does. They still It's still the old school BCS, pre-BCS my poll mindset where, okay, uh, you know, one loss is, you know, you can survive one loss. It's better to have no losses, uh, but two is stretching it and three makes you out. And, and and you wait, it'll happen. There'll be a, a a team that's you know in the SEC that gets a bad draw, you know that wins all their games and loses to like Alabama, the conference champ, Georgia, the team that plays them in the conference championship game, and LSU, who'd only lost one game all year. Uh, and then they've sit there. This team's going to sit there three losses and then beating the crap out of everybody else, and they're not getting in over you know Johnny McSlap, but. Or, or nuts or whatever you want to call it. They, they played two two good teams all year and beat up on everybody else. Oh, but they're eleven and one, so they're going to get in. their business. <laughs> yeah, so so I think that's even the you know the Big Ten's even kind of kicking the can around about going back to eight. Uh, I don't see any reason to to go to go to nine, you know, just because everybody else is doing it, other than money and value and all that. You know, all that said too. Uh, the argument for obviously is money and value and all that good stuff. A, a three six six model means, and this means something in the SEC. You know, it just means more. It means okay, so you're not going to have to not play Bama and Tennessee every year and and skip every other year. Uh, Texas and Texas A and M, which I contend is their own damn fault. Uh, I think Texas and Texas A and M should play non conference games if they're not going to play. If it's not going to be a conference game. Uh, I think that's their fault. I think they've robbed their fans and, you know, a, a, a decade's worth of Aggies and Longhorns worth of great memories because of the pettiness that has existed there. Now that they're both in the same league, shut up and play. Uh, but still in a one seven, you, you know, you're not Texas and Oklahoma is such a big game TV wise and big draw TV wise. So is Georgia, Florida. You're not sacrificing those games. Those games are staying. So A and M will have to play LSU, and 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 Texas will probably play you know Texas will play Oklahoma or whatever. So you know that solves that problem because you, you if you have three permanents, you're not really ever getting into a situation where, oh man, you know Auburn can't play Georgia this year or something like that.